Hey lovelies, it's Kate. Welcome back to another Sims 4 speed build. I decided to try something new, so I was thinking of a sim and a backstory and then I started to work on this house. I built this house in Granite Falls on a 50 by 50 lot and my idea was to build a house for a astronomer sim and this sim is living in the woods, kind of far away from everyone. There is no light pollution, he's living in the woods and he has a huge love for astronomy. So this sim is a fan of astronomy, also a scientist, so I've added lots of crazy things to this house and I wanted this house to look really pretty, but I also wanted this to be perfect for a scientist and astronomer. I don't think we have any career related to astronomy really in The Sims 4. I think we're used to in Sims 3 maybe. However, there is the observatory or telescope and your sim can become a scientist and also aliens are a part of get work, including the scientist career. So I was kind of trying to mesh this all together. I was going for the look of a cabin because this house is in the woods far away from everyone and I also added lots of stuff like the gigantic telescope. I actually added two as you will see. One is on the inside and kind of sticking out a window which was kind of the perfect spot and the other one will be on the balcony and I actually forgot about the room at the very top and then I noticed that it's still unfurnished when I was was pretty much done and then I had the epiphany to just add another telescope to this area. Here you can see how I'm working on the exterior. I really wanted this to be really scenic and beautiful. I also used the pond tool but first as you can here see I started to work on another patio area. I raised the platform and then I've used the iron living glass floors which I rotated using tool just to have a little roof basically and then I've used the windows from Snowy Escape to make it look perfect and I'm going to just place a couple of armchairs in there so your sims can just sit in there and when I started to furnish I realized that there's just a door super high up because of the raised foundation on the outside but I luckily remember and I just changed the floor plan a bit and I also added a platform on the inside. Platforms can be tricky sometimes which is also why I included them in my shell challenge which is still going so if you want to participate I have a shell challenge right now. I just thought of this randomly because I was talking about platforms. It's a platform shell and you can still participate. The deadline is May 1st and you can find the video on my channel. Here I'm using lots of shells to make this perfect and I was going for a nice contrast. I have this very dark brown wooden tone, quite dark but really beautiful and warm and I also wanted to incorporate some lighter wooden colors and I added a glass roof to this area and I'm going to change this up. Here I've used a combination of three individual roofs but I'm just going to get rid of the regular roof so just a glass roof up there and that's it. I rotated some shelves using tool to have a nice frame and this way I was also able to hide some of the windows on the inside kind of so this is how I created this look. As always, you see free and unmodded in the gallery, my ID is Kate Emerald. Here I'm just finishing the balcony area and this is also a just a place where you can sit on the outside. You can just take a look at the night sky, which is something I love so, so much. I just love anything related to space. I love just taking a look at the night sky. It's one of my favorite things, as, especially in summer. And I, I've seen the ISS, which you can see with the bare eye. You just have to like take a look at the tracker, which is telling you when the ISS will be above you, basically. And then you can spot it on a clear night, which is just amazing. Just looks like a gigantic satellite. 
And here I've worked on the level at the bottom. This build has like different levels. One level is much deeper and you can see that I've used the pawn tool to make this look really cool. There's some type of deck going on so the sims can just hang out over there. And I also wanted to have a balcony in this area so I was able to build the telescope which is so gigantic. I've never used it really. I've never used it in any of my builds. And I know that a lot of people are really like angry that we have these gigantic objects. They don't look realistic at all. Like for, for home use, like a regular telescope that you would just use at home. We don't have this, just like the cupcake machine, <laughs> which is also ridiculously gigantic. But I think for this build, it was perfect because I wanted this to be a gigantic telescope for a professional astronomer. And I also wanted to have this really funny look. It just looks it just looks weird in a good way, I think. Like I totally love when something is looking like super realistic when I'm building a house. But in this case, I just wanted to embrace the weirdness of The Sims 4 because some aspects are intentionally a bit funny and unrealistic. And it was just time to finally embrace this, at least for this build. Let me know if you like it. Yeah, I'm using lots of debug rocks. These are from the wedding pack. I like them. I like the texture, the color, and I'm just using them to make the landscape look a bit more realistic. And I just wanted to have this wonderful look where I have like two different levels when it comes to the pond and I just wanted to connect it in a way. So I wanted to use lots of plants and rocks. So it looks more natural at first i wanted to incorporate a waterfall but then i didn't there wasn't really a lot of space at the bottom and i thought no i'm not going to do it this time so i just used the pond tool and rocks and that's it here is the area where sims can just hang out at the pond at the lake and live their best life i expanded the pond a bit at this point i already had a pond area so you only need the train tools and flatten out the area to expand the pond which is really easy and then I just landscape more and more I built a bridge because I just had to connect everything somehow and I wanted the water to go around almost the whole lot so I had to build a bridge which I did the good old way of just building a room a floor piece on top then I got rid of the room and I just used the arrows to lower my floor piece and I had a wonderful bridge essentially and that's it and here you can already spot the telescope I sized it down a bit I think I hope it's functional I'm just going to size it up because I'm I'm just going to play test this before uploading but here at this point I just build it like the dollhouse for example is also gigantic in a way I think it's almost as big as big as a, a kid like in this game and I know that there are gigantic dollhouses out there but I wish we had just some smaller options but you can in fact uh, size the doll houses down and they are still functional and I hope the same is the case for this telescope. I also added the satellite dish. I think when your sim gets abducted by aliens he can click on the satellite dish just prevent it for a day. I'm not sure though if this is working in Granite Falls, like the alien abductions, which were introduced with Get to Work. I was asking on Twitter if anyone knew something about this and if the Sims would get abducted because I was just building the telescope and stuff. And this is kind of making the aliens nervous in this game and they sometimes tend to abduct you. So I wanted to know what's going on, but I didn't get any clear answers. And after all, this build isn't about aliens, but about the Korean and everything. So I decided to you still build this in Granite Falls, but you could also place this in a different world. So if you are into alien abductions in this game, and if you want to use this build for this, you can just place it on any 50 by 50 lot. There's even one in Willow Creek, so you don't have to place this build in Granite Falls. But I was just kind of curious what's going on uh, with the aliens in Granite Falls. This is like the science room, like a lab. I just place lots of stuff from get to work. So this is perfect for the science career. I hope that nothing crucial is missing. If so, you can just remove stuff and replace it because I have never played the scientist career and, and all that stuff. I'm more of a builder. So if anything is kind of not accurate, you can just 
sell it and, and place in your object if you need anything. Here you can see how I'm finally adding the platform so I could connect the area like on the inside as well. And I had to make some changes to, to the floor plan in general because I was running out of space. And I think the interior turned out so beautiful. It's really warm and cozy and it really matches a cabin at the same time. It's, it's kind of modern. I still wanted to use lots of wooden tones and I changed the color of the fence a bit because I then like felt like all the colors and different wood tones were clashing so I changed that up a bit I wanted to have a island calendar so the sims could eat there it's really sun flooded really bright you have a really nice view because of granite falls and all the landscaping on the lot itself so it's like a gigantic glass house in some areas you can see the dining area in the background for example and there are windows going all around it so it's really beautiful I think I just love granite at fault. I think it's just so perfect when you have a house including lots of windows when you're building granite faults. Also like I don't want to turn this house and that you're behind this house into a kind of spooky thing but for me if I would imagine living in the woods on my own in a house which is essentially a glass cube there are windows everywhere and then I'm just looking at the sky and there's a threat of aliens abducting me because that's the case in The Sims 4. I would be so scared like this is so cool like the house itself looks so cool because I love this type of style like I would move in but the backstory is kind of scaring me like I was just thinking about this this is so eerie like being in this house alone at night I don't want to scare anyone but I just had to think about this it's like the coolest thing ever like living in the woods and just doing nothing but stargaze and at the same time it's so scary like not in real life but in the sims because we have aliens in this game. Here I'm just furnishing this beautiful corner. I wanted to make use of the natural light. I wanted this to be a perfect spot for reading. So I just added lots of books to these little cubes from Dream Home Decorator. And this painting is new. It's part of the base game. It was added in a surprise base game patch. So I just had to add this beautiful painting, which is from a Brazilian artist, if I'm not mistaken. And I added a bit of clutter here and there. So it's just the perfect spot for reading. And just hanging out and enjoying the sun and this here is the dining room and living room area as I said it's very sun flooded there are windows everywhere and I wanted this to be a bit simple minimalistic so I didn't add too much to this area I really wanted the windows to shine and I think it's always a bit weird if you put too many objects in front of a window because it's all about the windows and the view and I used a lamp from the new kit the decor to the max kit which I really like and this rock is also from the new kit and this area is a bit different like the whole floor plan you can see that when you're walking down the stairs you are entering the whole lab and bedroom area kind of so this is definitely just for one or two sims it's all about the career and the whole idea behind this build so it's definitely not a traditional family home i'd say and this is it. Here you can see lots of screenshots from the outside and inside. I hope you've enjoyed this video and I hope that you will enjoy the build. The build is available in my gallery, my ID is Kate Emerald and the tray files are available on my Patreon. And speaking of which, it's time to thank my wonderful Emerald Patreons. A big thank you to Asia, Dawn Bryce, Saturated Spark, Shannon McClam, Tilaine Lynn, Two Cats Tailoring and Vicky S. A big big thank you for your huge support, a huge thank you to all my other Patreons and thank you to anyone who watches my videos and supports me this way. I love you all so much and I hope that you will have a perfect day, an amazing week. I hope you are all doing so so well and I hope to see you in the next video. Bye bye! Oh.